A song, a rap song, doesn't make a person go out and shoot people or go out and rape people and everything else. I think it's the person. I have some lyrics here from some of the songs that you've done in your career, and to be very honest, many of this, much of this I can't even say on television, but I want to read some of this to you. Um, so what about the bitch that got shot? F her. You think I care about a bitch? I ain't a sucker. I'm so proud. I was like, you know, I haven't cried at a kids' movie in a long time, oh, but I was so proud. Was, I was so you know, no, but I was proud of him. I was proud of him. It was a good you know, kids' a, film. I've been Hi, a fan James. of Will for years, so yeah, absolutely. You know, and he tore it up. I was really proud of him. Hi, James. I'm a really big fan. And this is Peter, right here. Why were you laughing when you looked at that film or tape we just ran? Funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it funny? Uh, well, it's weird. I suppose it's weird to see yourself that long ago. How long ago was it? A week, About ten days? Uh, Twelve years. Twelve 60... years. Ago? That film was that. That piece of film was actually made by uh, a man called Kit Lambert, who was the first uh, real manager of. We're going to start with you. We're going to start with you. Linda Borman. Uh, I was formerly known, or once known, as Linda Lovelace, the survivor of Deep Throat. You take a look at it, and he took that little old light and shined it down in there, and he said, no wonder you can't hear, you've got a suppository in your ear. <laughs> I said, thanks, Doc. Now I know what I did with my hearing aid. <laughs> You were, you were going to host or, or be on a Tonight Show and you passed out? Well, yes. What was wrong? I, you know, I had a headache. I know that sounds really good. Actually, I was taking, I had the vapors. Remember in the old days, people used to get the vapors and take to the beds with a compress. But I had a headache and I hadn't eaten anything all day long and my blood sugar level dropped and I just sort of tipped that's over. That's pretty ring. Thank you. My manager gave me that, as well he might. God, that's <laughs> <laughs> message with uh, speed and uh, character So in the photo I was anxious. Then passing along Kalele Kuru and a cook tang on the theater and so I meet a pakatala you know, he said to me the other day, because I do go to the, the house and so on, he said to me, he said, Margaret, he said, why do people take an instant dislike to me? I said, well, it saves so much time, you know. And, and Alastair Darling, he's a charismatic figure. Uh, he's doing a great job as Chancellor, don't you think? beautiful night in this neighborhood. Uh, uh, so many people have helped me to come to this night. Some of you are here, some are far. Uh, 
you know, superseding Mr. Marlon Brando, Mr. Elvis Presley, uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier, Sir Alec Guinness, <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> I mean, Elvis everybody, Presley. Elvis Presley, just you name them. Amitabh Bachchan. And the bigger and joke, and, and even bigger joke was when... Nothing for you. It, no, it's not no, actually. It's I like mean, it, but it's fun. Part. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, when when we went into it, I was working with the studio some while back before we started fast, and you know, they knew that I was into this stuff, and I told them I wanted to do a movie where I was racing cars. I really mm -hmm. would like the idea of playing an undercover cop because I love that movie Donnie Brasco. Of course. And so they formed together this like dream job. So I, I've been living it for a while now. And I, what I loved is that we see a different side of you. You are a daddy. However, as some of you now know, I have learned in the last couple of days that I have lung cancer. Yes, I was a smoker until about 20 years ago, and I was weak, and I smoked over 9-11. But whatever the reason, the news does slow you down a bit. I've been reminding my colleagues today, who have all been incredibly supportive, that almost 10 million Americans are already living with cancer, and I have a lot to learn from them. And living is the key word. The National Cancer Institute says that we are... It's important. Yeah, you know, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. So, thinking back, what is one of the most memorable moments about your experience of being Jaws? Well, actually, uh, having that love interest uh, who was uh, uh, very, she did a really good job, a little French actress. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, and oh, don't forget, I got my doctorate at Exeter University, so I'm Dr. V. Rick Mayo, pan-global phenomenon in The Escape with Isa Hoors, directed by Indica Halpman, starring Rick Mayo. <laughs> Sorry, that was my penis falling off. I'm Ryan Dunn, you should check out my new show on G4 called G4's Proving Ground. It premieres June 14th. While I'm here, I should tell you some of my favorite clips currently on YouTube. One of those would be Baby Trash's Bar in Las Palmas. Hysterical. This is what happens when a wife leaves her husband alone at home with her daughter for too long a time. Uh, the effort alone put into this clip is worth watching. My God. Hysterical. Another good one would be Remy Gaillard. Uh, Disco Elevator. A lot of his stuff is funny, but this... Just like, all right. Yeah. Well, first we had to do some work to get the dump truck. Had to help him around and stuff. And then we just took some plastic, taped it, it down. Mattresses. Okay. Jersey Shore. Been some comparisons already, and we've seen what happened to those guys. They just blew up, making money, doing it. Are you guys looking at this like this could happen to us as well? Are you ready for that kind of a thing? Three fifties and eight twenties. I will be for you. Know what I'm saying? What's happening with you, right? Cool, man. Now we done got some 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 controversy going over the song, man. What's what's the part you say after I pay for it, man? It, it's if I want it or five morning, huh? If I want it. Thank you. Girl, Thank you. If I want it, <laughs> not five on it. If I want it, if I want it. You understand me? Understand me, now. You got the label popping up. Cut those yeah, committed. cut those committed. Yeah, it's official now. You heard me? All right. Now you I'm got the the, the units are moving like crazy, and it's yeah. all yours. I'm doing. Yeah, that that feels good.
and telepathy. Like, we're really close, yeah. I feel like when I don't have makeup on, it's not that I don't feel pretty. First of all, makeup, to me, is something fun. It's a hobby. It's not like I need makeup to feel gorgeous or, like, makeup makes... Education was out of the question. I'm catching up, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as far as uh, the documentary, what, what are you focusing on? It's, a, it's out now. It's just uh, in an hour and a half, they go through part of your life, you know, in an hour and a half, they can't take your whole life. But they did a, they did a very good job. I was most pleased with it. Things when I was a little kid. What made you want to want to wrestle? Since you started like so late, like most people, it seems like they started when they were younger. I started when I was 17. My my whole family's in the business. Uh, I don't know if you guys know uh, the Wild Samoans, Alpha and Sika. I have my cousins out there, the Head Shrinkers, Samu and Fatu. Boulevard under some street lamp. <laughs> <laughs> he mowed 